Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Arunodayam Creations. Today we are going to learn about action of saliva on starch. Action of saliva on starch. First of all, what is meant by saliva? We know that three pairs of salivary glands are present in our mouth. Three pairs of salivary glands. Those three pairs of salivary glands produce some watery fluid like substance into our body whenever we put food material into our mouth. Isn't it? That fluid or watery substance is nothing but saliva. So now in this video we are going to learn how this saliva is acting on starch. What is meant by starch? Starch is a complex carbohydrate which is present in food material. Okay. So how this saliva is acting on starch we are going to learn in this video. First take two test tubes A and B. Then after we have to take some starch solution. We can prepare starch solution by taking 100 ml of water and mixing 1 gram of starch to it. Then after take 1, 1 ml of starch solution into each of these uh, test tubes. Okay, we have to take 1 ml of starch solution into these test tubes. Next, we have to take 1 ml of saliva which is collected from our mouth and add it to test tube A. We have to add saliva only to test tube A, not to test tube B. After adding saliva, we have to leave those two test tubes undisturbed for 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, so meanwhile, some reactions will take place in these two test tubes. Then after, we have to take iodine solution. Iodine solution is a reagent which is used to test the presence of a starch or carbohydrates. So iodine solution will help us to know the presence of starch. Okay. So we have to take iodine solution and we have to add 2 or 3 drops of iodine solution to both these test tubes A and B. After some seconds or after some minutes we can clearly see that some color change is taking place in test tube B. The solution in uh, test tube B will turn into blue black color indicating the presence of uh, carbohydrates or starch in it. Why? Because we have added starch. Isn't it? We prepared starch solution and we have added it to test tube B. So that after adding iodine solution, the starch solution will turn into blue black color. So by this we can say that this test tube has carbohydrates. And next up, we have added iodine solution to test tube A also. But here the solution remains colorless. The solution will not turn into blue black color. Why? Actually we have added starch solution to test tube A also. Okay, after adding iodine solution, it must turn into blue black color. But it is not turning, indicating that the absence of carbohydrates here. Here in this test tube A, carbohydrates or starch are absent. Why? Because why? Because we added starch uh, saliva to test tube A. Okay, so within 20 to 30 minutes, the saliva will act on this starch solution. Saliva contains an enzyme called salivary MLS or tyalin salivary MLS or tyalin which has the capacity to break down carbohydrates into simpler compounds. In other words, we can say that saliva contains an enzyme salivary MLS or tyalin which will help in the digestion of carbohydrates, which will help in the breakdown of carbohydrates into simpler ones. So here carbohydrates are digested into simpler ones. So carbohydrates are absent here, no more present in complex form. That's why after adding iodine solution, we cannot find any color change. Simply the solution becomes colorless. Same happens in our mouth also. When we put food into our mouth, our salivary glands will secrete so much saliva into our mouth. Okay, this saliva has salivary MLS or tile, you no? Know? So this enzyme will act on carbohydrates present in the food material which we put into our mouth. They will break the carbohydrates into simpler ones. That means they will digest carbohydrates in the mouth itself. Okay, so by this experiment, we can clearly understand that saliva which is present in our mouth will act on starch and helps in the digestion of starch okay that is about our topic action of saliva on starch hope you understand the topic now i am going to give you a homework question if we add saliva to test tube b also then after 20 to 30 minutes what happens when we add iodine solution to test tube b if you know answer if you understand the concept Please comment your answer here. Thank you so much for watching. Jai Hind.